Hey everybody, this is Bill from Service Rocket, here to kick off another Service Rocket technology tutorial. Over the next few minutes, you are going to learn a new task to help you get the most out of the technology that you use so you can be more productive in your work. And that's what it's all about, right? Well, we're here to help you do just that. And I know learning new technology can be a challenge, but if you take it step by step, you can build the new skills necessary to help you be as productive as you can be. So sit up straight, pay attention, and let's get started. Hi, this is Bill Cashard from Service Rocket. In this tech tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with filters in JIRA to stay on top of your work so that your issues uh, don't fall through the cracks. And that's a big problem, right? Uh, uh, as you keep working in JIRA, you can have situations where you keep adding new issues and pretty soon you have tons of them in there and sometimes things can fall through the cracks. So um, what you want to do is set up some filters so that you can keep on track of uh, what you're working on. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to show you how to sort of work on two kinds of filters. Very simply, one is just a list of all of your open issues so that you can scroll through a list and see what you have open that you need to work on. And then secondly, um, how to work with a, uh, a list of open issues for a specific project. So that's a slightly narrower type of filter that you can set up. So you can access your filters from your dashboard like I'm showing you here. Or by clicking on the issues link at the top, you can see all of your favorite filters that show up right on this list. So let me show you this first kind of issue is just a list of all of my open issues. And this is quite simple actually. It just is going to show you a list of every issue in JIRA that is open, reopened, or not resolved. Um, and what I do is I look at this filter. First of all, I switch it to a detailed view um, over here, but that's so that when I click on an issue, I can also just visually see what the details of that issue are. And then the second thing I do is I um, sort it by due date because of course I want the most recent ones at the top. Right? What's due today or tomorrow? I want to look at those first. Then essentially I just click through here and you can just use your down arrow on your keyboard. And notice you can just scroll right through your list until you get to one that you need to work on. And then you can click back over to the right hand side of the screen, scroll down and see the work that's happening on this issue. The second kind of, an, of, a, of a filter that I like to use is an, a list of open issues by a specific project. So down here, my open GH issues. So this is um, only open issues tied to this GH project. Not all of mine, just for this issue. And again, I sort it by due date and I click into this list and I use the down arrow on my keyboard you know, I do this every morning and I can just scroll through all of my issues for that project and see which ones do I have to work on today or tomorrow and which ones don't and so I can just focus on those. Okay, so that's how I use filters. Now, I set this filter up simply by, um, you know, I selected a specific project to filter on and then I type all types of issues. I didn't filter that any further. And then in this drop down, I'm specifically checking open in progress and reopened issues. I don't care about closed or resolved ones because I assume um, those are getting done or are, or are already done. And that's what I do. So then if you want, you can always go to manage your filters and set up a list of favorite filters here. So on this page, all of my favorite, all of my filters are here and I can add to or remove them from my favorites just by selecting the star. And again, if I go to my favorites list, you can see I have four here. Those favorites, um, favorite filters also show up on this drop down here. So it's very easy to access your filters that way. And that's all there is to it. This is Bill Cashard from Service Rocket. Thanks for watching.